because I honestly don't know because I did not prepare for this question. I honestly don't even know what it's about. That's that on that. everybody it's your girl Jay and today I am here with the quarter year crisis book tag I saw this on Heather from bookables channel but it was originally created by Roizen's reading so I will leave both of their links down below if you want to go check out either of their videos but without further ado let us get started the first question is how many books have you read this year as of this morning I have read a total of 46 books out of my goal of 160 I am apparently one book behind schedule to make that by the end of the year so I got some reading to do. But I have faith because I have no social life. All I do is work and then come home and read. So I'm thinking that I should be able to get some books ahead in the near future because like I said, no social life, all I do is read. The next question is, have you already found a book that might be a favorite of the year? I keep a list on my phone of my top 10 for the year every year and just kind of like rearrange them based off of when I read a new book I like more kind of thing. As of right now, the number one book on that list is Dreams Lie Beneath by Rebecca Ross. I loved this book. I thought it was so unique and interesting. It follows a girl named Clementine who is the daughter of the dream warden of this city. On every new moon, the nightmares of this city come to life and the dream warden is supposed to protect the city from these nightmares by like banishing them using magic. She is in line to take her father's job when he retires from being the dream warden, but then then two magicians show up and challenge her dad. They ultimately lose everything in this challenge and that's when a century-old curse comes back into play and it's like the story of that. Like I said, I just think it was really unique and very interesting to read. I seem to love everything Rebecca Ross writes. She wrote the Queen's Resistance duology and I personally think that is such an underrated series. I think it was so good. So when she wrote another book, you know I had to snatch it up. More people need to pick this up because I think it is so underhyped and just such a good time so that's that on that. The next question is any least favorite books or one star books and again I have another list on my phone of just like the worst books I've read this year and the one that takes the cake as of right now is The Blessed by Tanya Hurley. I hated this book. It is just a dumpster fire of bad things just not a good time so like I would say read it for yourself so that you can see how bad it is but don't waste your time. It's really really bad. Next question is my most read genre so far and I tried to figure this out. I looked on Goodreads for the 46 books that I read and I want to say that my top read is fantasy but it's very close with thriller and then I couldn't decide what some books categorized as so I'm going to say that it is fantasy with thrillers coming up as a close second but I could be very wrong on that. Next up is a book that surprised you. I did not prepare my answer for this. Uh, let me just pull up my Goodreads list yet again because I honestly don't know because I did not prepare for this question. I'm gonna go with Bright Ruined Things by Samantha Coho. I did not expect to like this as much as I did. It's supposed to be a The Tempest retelling but very loosely based but I found this to be way more intriguing than I thought it was going to be. It follows a girl named May who after the death of her father she wants nothing more than to be part of the Prosper clan who lives on this island. May grew up on this island and she has always been at the beck and call of this magical family and so she realizes that she's almost 18 and if she doesn't claim a spot in the Prosper family then they are able to basically ship her off and get rid of her. So she decides that she's going to be part of the family one way or another and it's like the story of that. Like I said, I just didn't expect to like this as much as I did. I was so invested in the secrets and the drama and everything that was going on. It was very fast paced and I never really felt bored while I was reading it, which is always a good sign. So definitely check this out if you haven't already. The next question is a book that came out in 2022 that you want to read but haven't yet. I have so many answers for this but I'm going to go with one. I need one that's like near me. I'm gonna go with The Atlas Six by Olivia Blake. I don't know if this technically counts because it was technically released before 2022 but it got like re- 
published as non-indie or something like that. So I'm gonna go with this one because this was like everybody's favorite book last year when they read it. I just think it's like so pretty. I honestly don't even know what it's about. I just want to be part of the hype train. So I'm very excited to actually pick it up but when that will happen I don't know because I just have so much shit that I need to read. The next question is one challenge or goal that you set out for yourself that you are achieving. I cannot say that I am achieving any of the goals that I set out <laughs> but if I had to choose one I'm going to say that one of my goals is unhaul at least 149 books because I hauled 149 last year and I am currently at 92 books unhauled this year so we at least have a chance of accomplishing that one. And then the next question is one goal that you need to focus more on. I'm going to say reading more bigger fantasy books because I am intimidated by them and have a goldfish brain and can't like process big fantasy books as well as other people. So I wanted my one goal to be focusing more on those and I'm gonna say I have been reading more fantasy but definitely not big fantasy books. More so YA fantasy books but, but I'm talking more like The Priory of the Orange Tree like this is a honker and it terrifies me or like Brandon Sanderson. I have the first four books in the Stormlight Archives that I am just terrified of. That kind of thing. I need to pick those up. Eventually I will. I just don't know when. And then the final question is new to you booktubers, bookstagrammers, book talkers that you can introduce to other people. I don't go on booktalk, never been on it, never will go on it. Uh, same thing with bookstagram. It's just not something that I gravitate towards. And like I feel like the booktubers that I watch are all very well known booktubers or people that I have been watching for way longer than 2022. But if I had to pick one of the lesser known, I'm going to go with reading with Meg. I recently found her in 2022 and I just think she is so funny. Like her vibes are just like my vibes. She's just very sarcastic and just doesn't give a fuck about anything. So I'm gonna go with her. She currently only has 454 subscribers so I'm gonna leave her link down below and I really think that you guys should check her out because I just think she's hilarious. So all right, everybody. So that was the quarter year crisis book tag. Like I said, I'm going to leave everybody's links down below. So please go check them out. If you want to do this tag, then you are officially tagged. I don't really have any booktube friends, so I can't actually tag you. But if you're watching this and you want to do it, then you're tagged. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books and what you thought of them. And I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye.